Hello and welcome. Another really short video on another very simple, easy to perform mod on the 147 ICO signal tracer that makes the functionality much more useful. I had been playing around with this thing today and I tried the watt meter function and found it to be horribly inaccurate. It was off almost 40 watts. Now, when I worked on this thing originally, and recapped it, I had checked all of the resistors. I had been through the entire circuit, and it really isn't much to the watt meter. You've got a transformer primary that you plug your load into, it induces current in the secondary, across this potentiometer, which is calibrated in watts. This goes to a rectifier section up here. The more DC it produces, the more it deflects the tuning eye or the seeing eye tube, seeing eye tuning eye tube, magic eye tube. There we go. That's easy enough. The magic eye tube. And yep, check the tube too. The 6SQ7 that has the diode section in it. The diode section was a little bit soft. I changed it out for a new old stock 6SQ7, and the error went from about 40 watts to about 20 watts. A lot better, but not perfect. The only thing I hadn't checked was the potentiometer, so I checked it, and sure enough, it was fine. It was the right value. All of the resistors were the right value. As I say, I'd checked everything. Then light dawned over marble head. We have a 1 mega ohm resistor here and a 1.8 mega ohm resistor here forming a voltage divider. I took those two resistors out, and I put a 3 mega ohm potentiometer right here. So now, instead of these two fixed resistors, there's a 3 mega ohm potentiometer. I went through a whole series of different light bulbs that I had. I measured the current through them, measured my line voltage, calculated the actual wattage draw of all the light bulbs. You can't trust what's written on the top of them. It is nowhere near accurate. In fact, most 90 watt lights today draw about 75 watts. At any rate, once you know how much current each one of your light bulbs is drawing, you can calibrate your watt meter. And now that we can calibrate it, now that we have this pot available, as the unit ages or the tube ages and it goes slightly out of calibration, we don't have to go through all kinds of song and dance to get it up and running again. Grab some known loads, do a quick trim, the unit will be good for several more months or years depending on your usage. And handily enough, on the side of the chassis here was an extra hole. That was probably intended on some version of the transformer to pass wires down through to the bottom of the chassis. But there's plenty of clearance. The cabinet side is actually, the wall of the cabinet's actually out here. So there's all kinds of room on the side. So I used the existing hole. I put a 3 meg pot. Replaced these two resistors right here with the pot, calibrated it, and now this thing is accurate within a watt from 35 all the way up to 200 watts. I didn't test it any further than 200. But it's uh, as near as I can tell on the dial within one watt between the, that range. Simple enough mod. Hope you found it useful. I'm the Radio Mechanic. See you soon.